How does a CO2 fertiliser system really benefit you? If you would like the plants in your aquarium to be lush and beautiful, and even would like to try growing demanding red plants, then a JBL CO2 fertiliser system would be worth considering. CO2, also called carbon dioxide, is the main source of food for all plants, which they convert into sugar through photosynthesis. There is a shortage of CO2 in almost all aquariums, which in turn inhibits plant growth. This short film shows you the effects of a CO2 fertilizer system. Two aquariums were set up identically and planted with the same plants. For 30 days, the aquarium on the left will be operated without added CO2 and the aquarium on the right will benefit from the addition of a CO2 fertilizer system. Both aquariums are regularly supplemented with the liquid fertilizer JBL Ferropol. The outlet hose of the external filter of the aquarium on the right was fitted with a CO2 supply line. This JBL direct diffuser and integrated bubble counter tells you exactly how many CO2 bubbles you add to the water. You can start seeing a difference after only a few days. The carpeting plants of the Glossostigma genus at the front, but also the plants in the background, Limnophilia aromatica, are growing much faster with the addition of CO2. After a few days, you can also see the red plants, the Nisea, growing stronger. The carpeting plant at the front is turning into a dense carpet with CO2 fertilization whilst growth stagnates without CO2. In some cases, plants even start to die back. After one week, the difference is enormous. In the aquarium on the right, with added CO2, the plants are much stronger and bushier than in the one on the left without CO2. In the following week, all the plants in the aquarium with CO2 fertilization will be even stronger, including their color. Whilst without CO2 fertilization, you can see hardly any growth at all. After another week, the plants with CO2 fertilization have grown so much that they need to be trimmed. In the aquarium on the left, without the addition of CO2, algae are unfortunately beginning to grow because the existing nutrients are not used up by the plants. In the aquarium on the right, the lush plants are consuming so many nutrients that the algae don't stand a chance. The CO2 technology is very easy to install and it takes up no space in the aquarium, with CO2 fertilization on the right and without it on the left. Here's the difference again in time-lapse mode. Without CO2 fertilization on the left, with CO2 fertilization on the right. The impact of CO2 on plant growth could not be any more obvious. Invest a little money in a CO2 system for beautiful and vigorous plant growth, and algae are stopped in their tracks. It really is worth your while.